What's going on guys today? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be showing you guys Imara Vex in the new game Star Wars Hunters. Kicking it straight off, her damage is amazing. She does 22 damage for a headshot with a really rapid fire speed and insane accuracy. You can see me absolutely dominating these bots here. Now she's got a few interesting abilities up her sleeve. Starting off with a scan, she's going to scan the entire map for enemies and show your team where they are through walls and everything. Next, she's got a grapple hook, which you see me use. It's got a surprisingly long range, can be really useful for getting out of a sticky situation. Next up, her rocket it does 60 damage and locks onto enemies. Pretty good at moving an enemy out of cover if you can hit him around the corner. Now, Amara Vex's ultimate ability is ridiculously powerful. It can wipe out three enemies insanely fast, as you can see me do here. I'm not sure how balance changes are going to work in this game, but I can definitely see this thing getting nerfed in the near future. Now before we go any further, I want to thank Sandy Hotels and Resorts for sponsoring today's video. Sandy Hotels and Resorts offers relaxing holiday breaks, all from your own home on Roblox. Book yourself into a nice cosy room and have a meal at the restaurant. These are just a few of the services on offer. Looking for a job? Head to the application centre and you can be the next Sandy Hotels employee. Join Sandy Hotels and Resorts Discord server and in the promo codes channel, use code SANDYSPONSOR for a special coloured name tag. Join within the next 14 days and be entered into 1000 Robux giveaway. Thanks again to Sandy Hotels and Resorts for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into it. Here I'm going to show you some of Amara's upgrades you can unlock. Starting off, you've got this upgrade for the grapple hook. It's going to make you move faster coming off a grapple, but with a shorter range on that, so it doesn't really seem like that great of an upgrade since the range is what makes the so good in the first place. Next up, you've got a rocket upgrade. It's going to decrease the damage, but make the tracking better. Doesn't seem that great, to be honest. Here we've got another grapple, so you're going to be invincible while grappling, but with a longer cooldown, seems alright. Next one's the scan, going to give you a speed boost from the activator, but you're going to slow yourself down. Seems pretty bad. And the barrage is interesting, it's going to stack up to three missiles, but they don't lock on and do slightly less damage, so it looks like a solid upgrade you might want to try out. Here I'm going to showcase Amara Vex in an actual map, and on this map I'm not 100% sure on the name of it, but it looks like some sort of Tatooine spaceport, it's a pretty cool map. I was able to take a massive advantage on this raised area, it basically let me rain down fire on everyone, pretty much no one shooting back, so it's def this is definitely one of the best maps to play on. Here you can see me use the grapple. They're really impressed by the range on it. Really surprised me and caught me off guard. I was able to launch across the map pretty easily and I was, could see how this can be used. Say there's a, someone with a lightsaber, you know, right on you. You can use that, get away, take, take some cover, maybe heal up or something and then turn fire. This next map is quite a bit harder because with Amara you don't really will be wanting to play objective and pushing enemies, you want to be staying back in cover, dealing massive damage. So this map is a bit of a struggle, especially with the pod races coming every now and then. So uh, definitely made the map a bit more interesting, made the game a little bit harder, but I did manage to get a couple of assists off the pod races, so that was pretty nice. As you can see, the damage on this gun is ridiculous, although Amara's health is not great, so as you can see, nearly got wiped out there, but the damage is just insane. If your enemy stands still, they're going to get absolutely lazy. And during, these, during this match here, I was still kind of getting used to the leading the shots, like on mobile because obviously in Star Wars you use blasters not guns so it's a little bit different to what I'm used to but I got to do it eventually. Here you can see me using the scan I spotted managed to spot the droid Decker through the wall shot the rocket which forced him to go out of the cover. Now I'm not too sure on this guy's abilities though so he was popping a shield and stuff so he did get run over by the pod racers though, which is, uh, yeah, those pod racers can really catch you off guard if you're not paying full attention to them. 
you want to make sure that you keeping an eye when the floor turns red making sure you're not getting in the way absolutely beam that guy there Here I'm just sort of providing cover support for my team, you can see they're pushing up up front. Managed to take out the Joy Deco, some pretty clean shots there as the pod races come in. And uh, I had a little bit of a nightmare right here. See I saw this little space pot down there and I honestly thought it was part of the map. Um, so I tried to go down, I died to fall damage even if it was part of the map. A uh, bit of an L for me, but you live and you learn I guess. Managed to get a pretty nice kill, pretty much all headshots on that guy just there. And taking out the, uh, the healer here. On their team support player. As I said, this map isn't ideal, but in the end, I was able to come out with a win. As I said, Amara's going to be so much better on the more open maps where you can sit back and take down the enemies from far away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check the description for my social links. Peace out.